Welcome to the GL300 tutorial video. This video will show you how to install and operate the GL300. Inside the packing case, GL300 Skylight, Power Cord, Power Supply Module, Belts for PC, Gifts, High Speed TF Card, Instruction, Wipe Cloth, M300 battery lock. Pay attention to the yellow warning and do not look directly at the light source. Enter the official website of CZZM. Find the service and support. Download the CZZM app and copy it to the U disk and install it into the M300 remote control. Click Enter Device in the lower right corner of the main page of the software. Click File Manager. Click on the internal storage. Click your SD card or U disk. Click APP Release for installation. When the APP is installed, click Done. Replace the M300 battery lock. Install the power supply module. Lock the battery lock of M300. Take out the GL300. Remove the interface protection cover. Push upward and rotate counterclockwise, so that the two red points are aligned to lock. After installation, check whether it is firmly installed. Belts are used to bind the gimbal to and the upper and lower metal plates of four shock balls. Use scissors to remove excess belts. Insert the power cord into the power supply module and GL300 spotlight. Turn on the remote control. Turn on the aircraft. Click enter device in the lower right corner of the main page of the software. Click into the APP. With the words below the interface shows GL300. Click into the device. Into the interface. Click the setup button. Pop up menu bar. Click the common settings. And click gimbal light. Open the suspension box. Click the yes. Then you will switch to DJI Pilot. Click on the light button to realize the control of the light on and off state. Sliding zoom progress bar option. You can adjust the light angle of gimbal. Click the flicker button to start the flash mode. When using H20T and GL300, you can use the adjuster button. Fine tuning the spot position in the picture. Click DJI Pilot to enter the main interface. The GL300 is displayed in the lower left corner, indicating that the GL300 load identification is successful. Click Manual Flight. After entering the main interface, click the dual screen display. Enter the main screen. You can click on the linkage button. Choose Gimbal 2 and Gimbal 1. Realize synchronization effect. Click the menu bar and enter the GL300 operation interface. Click the Display Real-Time Data button and the status display box will pop up in the upper left corner of the main interface. Click on the light button to realize the control of the light on and off state. Slide brightness progress bar. You can adjust the brightness of gimbal. Click the flicker button to start the flash mode. When using H20T and GL300, you can use the pitch adjuster button. Your adjustment button and roll adjustment button. Fine tuning the spot position in the picture so that the spot is kept in the center of the picture. When observing the target, in case of overexposure of the camera, the exposure button on the picture can be adjusted by sliding. 